Hi there, my name is Dr. Dominic Rowley and I'm the medical director of letsgetcheck.com and I'm here today to talk to you about some of the tests we can offer you. So, an STI is a sexually transmitted infection. These are also called sexually transmitted diseases. Um, STIs are incredibly common at the moment and we're in the middle of an epidemic of many STIs including gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis, HIV and hepatitis. Many people are confused between the terminology STI and STD. They are absolutely the same thing. STIs used to be called STDs or sexually transmitted diseases, but scientists over the years decided to take away the word disease and replace it with the word infection. So just to clarify, STIs and STDs are the exact same thing. Some of the most common STIs in the world include HPV, which stands for human papillomavirus. This is also known as genital warts or can cause genital warts. Another extremely common STI in the world is chlamydia. Gonorrhea is another bacterial STI, which is extremely common. Then we have some viral STIs, such as HIV. And there are also other STIs, such as syphilis. The big problem we find with STIs, and the reason why they are so common, is because many STIs have no symptoms at all. For example, in up to 80% of women, they don't have any symptoms at all if they have a chlamydia infection. This is also the case with other infections, such as syphilis and HIV, where you may not know you have the infection until the disease has progressed till much later. And for this reason, it is so important to get tested. For many women, a vaginal discharge is perfectly normal, and we call that a physiological discharge. However, in certain cases, for example, like if you have an STI, you can develop what we, what we refer to as a pathological discharge. This is an abnormal discharge. For example, a discharge that smells unpleasant or that is different from normal, a discharge that has an unusual color, for example, yellow or gray or green, some women may experience an, alter, um, uh, an alternation of their uh, periods. So some women will experience some bleeding after sex or will experience bleeding in between their periods. Other women may experience pain during or after intercourse. These are all signs of STIs in women. In men, however, the symptoms are slightly different. They may experience a discharge from the penis. They may experience a stinging or burning when they urinate. Occasionally, they may also experience blood in the sperm or pain after ejaculation. And they also may experience testicular pain or discomfort. Uh, depending on what type of sex you are having, you may also experience rectal symptoms if you are having anal sex. For example, a discharge from the anus. This may be uh, green or it may be bloody. And you may also experience a sore throat if you are having unprotected oral sex. Many STIs have no symptoms. Now you may ask, why is this of importance? Well, the reason this is important is, for example, in women. Women may develop an infection called pelvic inflammatory disease. This is where the STI infects the fallopian tubes and the uterus. This can lead to infertility at a later date. For men, men can develop uh, infections of their epididymis, known as epididymitis, and testicular infections. And there's also a link to infertility in men in untreated STIs. This is why it's so important to be diagnosed. We advise all of our patients to get tested, firstly, if you have any unusual genital symptoms. For example, as I mentioned above, any unusual discharge, abnormal bleeding, or pain in the genital area. You may also get tested if you notice any unusual lumps or bumps in the genital area, or new rashes. Everybody who is sexually active should be tested. And many patients ask me, well, I'm in a long-term relationship, should I, should I get tested? We always advise patients at the beginning of a new relationship to get tested or if they're having regular sexual partners to get tested. And even if you are in a monogamous relationship, it is always a good thing for your sexual health to get a full screen. There are many ways to get tested and treated for an STI. These include attending your family doctor, going to a public or private health clinic, sexual health clinic, or of course going to www.letsgetchecked.com to purchase a personal health test and you can perform that in the convenience of your own home.